Hello everybody, it's been a while. Um, welcome back to the Legacy Challenge of Miss Dumrock and what is this? Coworker works good but heartily disagrees with the candidate. Should she let him go? Well, yeah. If he doesn't agree with the candidate he's working for, he should be let go. It's not I feel bad he's a good worker, but all right. Let's check that, see how that worked. Emma chose to let the employee go, but she also uses her connections to make sure that the employee is able to get a job working for a different minded candidate running in a different election. The boss agrees, and this was a very good move and gives Emma a raise. Yay! That worked out perfect. Okay. So normally we start off her day in the beginning of her day, but the other episode was running a little long. So we're in the middle of her day while she's at work, but that's okay. We will keep this going. Let's get I'm a home. We are gonna work on building the rest of her house, the bathroom and her kitchen. Um, we are going to work on Trigger Broke as hopefully her husband. So we're going to work on trying to get him so that we can propose. And I think that's my goals. Those are my current goals. Building up the rest of her house because like we have to get a, a double bed in here if we're going to bring Trigger into the family. And I would like for her to have a full bathroom. So there's the two for the hall. And then the five for the actual room. This will end up being their master bathroom. So it's going to be a big bathroom. It might be sparse when we first start, but it's going to be a nice master bathroom. And if I need to, I can just make the bathroom smaller and make the room bigger. So... All right, she's going to go on a date. That's odd. Now, you know I have generations, not generations. Um, yeah, that one. <laughs> the one that has vampires and werewolves and fairies in my game. But that was really odd. Trigger had a red box around him. He didn't ha he wasn't a vampire the last time we saw him. He was human. So I don't know. That really bothers me though. You know, we just get a love interest and then for that to happen to him. Ah. <sighs> Oh boy. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to paint until she gets tired enough to go to bed. Her and her stick figures. Should we speed this up? I don't know. Let's check. Ooh. Let's write a love letter. Let's write a love letter to Trigger. Oh, now she decides to go to bed. We just had to break the painting cycle. All right. Meet a werewolf. Play hopscotch. Play a guitar. Yep, she can do that. That's part of her. Right now we've been focusing a lot on painting, but she's got to get to playing her guitar too. Hopefully she'll be an old granny playing in the bars and be a painter. <laughs> We'll see. 
We will see. She is going to wake up awfully early. Man, every time it gets frosty outside in the night, I always think back to the episode of when I, and we froze solid. <laughs> Thank goodness we didn't f completely kill Miss Ima. That would have been horrible. That would have ended our legacy right then and there. Before we even got to the second generation. <laughs> <sighs> All right, well. Way early, Ima. We'll let her paint. Miss Ima and her painting. Who knows, she might level up her painting skills before we have to get ready for work. Maybe. I'm not gonna hold my breath on that one, but you never know. And she has a dirty environment. We might have to fix that. Have to go looking for stuff that's dirty in the house. on the painting. Oh, she le leveled up. Yay. I'm a... I'm a We're just painting away. Paint, paint, paint. Lots and lots of paint. wonder if she'll stop painting to eat or is she just going to continue to sit there and paint. She's not going to be happy when she finishes painting. I can tell you that. Not happy at all. Miss Ima, are you done painting yet? You're gonna get hungry, or you are hungry, but you're not noticing. Come on. You wanna paint, but you need to eat. Okay, finally she chose to stop. Oh, of course, now she's going to yell that she's hungry. Come on. Let's eat. There you 
you go. Stop complaining. And we found the dirty sink because she was she's upset she's in a dirty environment. So we're gonna look for things she can clean. Nope, that's clean. Wait a minute. Makes gourmet pet food. Nope. <laughs> that's interesting though. But no, we're not doing that. Yeah, we can decorate the house with at least two paintings. We have one already. We can put that one that she's currently working on on a wall too. And then turn around and sell them both. <laughs> All right. So she's going to clean that and clean that. Oh, let's clean the shower. And then we will, we need to take a shower. So we'll do that. Let's speed this up here. There we go. All right. We need to go to the restroom. Oh, the phone's ringing too. All right, all right. Give a presentation at the business office. Simoleons and improve my charisma. Where's this at? Okay, we'll do that. All right. We're going to work hard. And after work, we'll give the presentation. Let's change her to run errands for the supervisor because she's getting overworked there. Uh, the boss wants me to take somebody for dinner. Okay. We'll figure that out. I don't know if I know this person. Hmm. That's my boss. All right, well, we'll figure that out. I don't know, but we'll figure that out. fast forward that because we're just sitting here watching her make a business presentation which is so interesting and that still really bothers me with the red square and not knowing this Octavio Lansing guy or girl I don't know all right everyone listened yay the business meeting was Wait, well, perfect. We should be able to build some more of her house. Let's get her off to bed. We need to eat first. Gotta eat something. Let's eat some canned soup, Emma. That way you can scarf something down and get to bed. Clean up your mess. 
us and then you can go to sleep all right off to bed we go hmm. all right we are going to wake up at seven so that she's not waking up at wee hours of the morning but that's not going to work for us and let's build the rest of the house too and then five there we go do I have enough to do no, that's 840, not enough to do that. That's okay. We will get that done later. Okie dokie. So, oh, well that's nice. Look at that. I can, in it says invite over. I don't know how I would take him out to dinner though by inviting him over. We'll have to see what happens. But I can click that. And I'm ready to do this. And I think we're gonna... I can't think tomorrow's a work day. I don't remember. Oh, wait a minute. The spring renewal... Let's take trigger on a date. And we'll go on a date to the festival. Let's do that. All right. Yep. Love is in the air. Hug and kiss your partner or someone special. Okay. We're going to let you eat some cereal. Then we're going to call. Oh, wait a minute. Let's get rid of that. We'll bring that down. And we'll kill two birds with one stone. We'll ask Trigger out on a date. And we will go to the festival. And that will take care of going to the festival and going on a date with Trigger. Get both of those out of the way. That'll be perfect. Here we go. Yay, let's meet there and have some fun. Perfect. Um, we'll pay the bills when we get back. All right. Off on a date we go with Trigger at the Spring Festival. trigger. Let's pick up a festival egg. Mm. That's weird. We'll pick up that festival egg. And we'll pick up this festival egg. Where is... Normally when they go out on a date, they meet each other right at the... Same thing, but I never even saw him. He like... Disappeared. Never showed up. Something. I don't know. 
That's really odd. Hmm. Well, let's walk back there so we don't miss him. I don't see him. Is he anywhere around here? Huh. Well, let's call him over. It looks like he's around here somewhere. If we call him over, then he'll come over here and we can figure out what's going on. That's not him, that's a werewolf. That's not him, that's not him. Where is he? right that red box he's a vampire oh I'm kind of sad I mean, can we even see the mark on his neck he's a vampire But she still loves him. Oh. Stop looking at your phone. Talk to your boyfriend. I think we're still going to pursue this. That just means Grandpa will be hanging around for several generations, which is fine. We'll make him the housekeeper slash babysitter while mommy and daddy's work. They don't have like the little, the little spinning plump bob around their heads that they're in a group. Are they even date? Are they on an actual date? I can't tell. All right. We gotta get them in the mood for Ima to ask him. So let's start working on this. Let's give him a massage. Not that the vampire would need a massage, but you know, you never know. We'll see what happens. Her charisma skill went up. not really a hug. All right, extremely irresistible. Should we? Mm, we can't accuse him, but I don't want to accuse him. Let's see. Ooh, propose going steady. Yes, that's what we want to do. Yay, he accepted that. Perfect. 
Awesome, awesome. All right. Let's see. Let's stroke his cheek. Because he's such a sweet boy, even though he's a vampire. <laughs> Oh, we can propose marriage now. That was quick. Okay, let's do that. Let's see if he says yes. Please say yes. Yay! Aww. She's so excited. <laughs> okay. They're probably just going to have a little wedding at her house because, let's face it, they don't have a lot of money to be buying a bunch of stuff for a big fancy wedding. Who knows? Maybe the next generation can do that. We will see. Oh, they love each other. And Grandpa Vamp Trigger will be around for several generations to watch after his grandkids and be a nanny, a vampire nanny. <laughs> I don't know, should she ever accuse him of being a vampire or should she just let it go? I don't know. We'll see. Let me down down let me know down in the comments if she should confront him about being a vampire or should we just let her live obliviously to that fact and just have a a nanny a grandpa nanny vampire for several generations living in the house. He can tell the kids stories of his grandmother, of their grandmother, and how much he loved her. That would be, and his great grandkids, he can tell his great grandkids stories and his great 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 grandkids stories about their grandmother and how they had a hopeless a hopelessly loving relationship where he stuck around even after the fact because he loves her so much and his kids so much and his family so much <laughs> and I've never actually seen a vampire get old and die that would be interesting to keep him in the household and see how that plays out. We'll see. We will see. And now he's running around the rink. Can we catch him to go home? I just need her to be able to say goodbye to him. No, why are you buying food? We need to say goodbye and end the date. Come here, Trigger. There we go. We are... Let's whisper in his ear first. Grasshopper pie. Ew. Don't eat that. Come whisper in Trigger's ear. While he's running circles. Oh, there he goes. Here he comes. Okay. He's waiting for you, I'm a... The love of your life. <laughs> Sounds like purring. Alright, go ahead and... Kiss goodbye. Let's do that. Now, why are you always on your phone, woman? 
let's kiss Trigger. There we go. Go kiss him goodbye. And then we can go home. Bye, Trigger. We love you. Aw, she kissed him. There we go. So that did us going to the fair, going out on a date with Trigger, and kissing Trigger. All done. The date went incredibly well. I would say so. She proposed and he accepted. <laughs> I don't know how that could not be incredibly well. Oh, this is going to take forever. Come on, girl, let's just go home. We'll go home, we'll eat, take a shower, and go to bed. And get ready for the next day. And hopefully finish her house, and then marry Trigger, and move him in. figure out what he wants to do for a living and get him working so we'll have two incomes in the house and then start building a nursery for the second generation oh I forgot we got to get those bills paid too all right come on Let's speed things up Ima take a shower go pay the bills my agent wants me to work out for four hours, fine. I'll have to do that on a weekend, clean your plate, and then go to bed, go to bed.